Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If you're new, welcome. You can find us all. And if you're not, to welcome back. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Feel free to say hi. We'll say hi back to you. So, a big shout out to the person that suggested this. They suggested I react to. Warning, don't talk to apostate prophet and David Wood. Um, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Apostate prophet and David Wood. They are the enemy. Don't go to the enemy. What kind of words are these? You're breaking my heart. One thing Muslims cannot tolerate, cannot handle is when they see Muslims siding with some of the biggest enemies of Islam. You start do, hanging around with the likes of David Wood, an apostate prophet. Trust me, my sister, you're, it wouldn't matter what you know. Your, your name will get marked and that would be that. These are some very harsh words. I don't, I don't know why people are so mean to me. Maybe a little bit of background here. This is uh, our dear friend Hamza speaking. He's giving advice to a new Muslim woman and telling her to stay away from us, not to communicate with us, not to side with us, not to hang out with us and all that. He's talking about a woman, a Muslim convert, a very recent Muslim convert known as Milan. Milan and Hamza recently had a disagreement over philosophy on his channel because she is very well read, very intelligent, very well informed on uh, philosophy, Christianity and Islam. And because she happened to agree with me and with David Wood on something, which is that during the recent discussion on the Kaaba problem, which I raised on their channel, they could not give a proper sufficient response to that because she happens to agree with us and disagree with them. She happens to say, well, yeah, what you guys say makes more sense. What they say doesn't really make sense. They are severely criticizing and berating Milan. You start do, hanging around with the likes of David Wood, an apostate prophet. Trust me, my sister, you're, it wouldn't matter what you know. You're, your name will get marked and that would be that. And this is not from me. This I know what Muslims are like. They're so judgmental. So just an advice, my sister, if you don't agree with somebody, don't go to the enemy. And they are the enemy, apostate prophet and David Wood. This is where the extreme tribalism of Islam comes out, where every Muslim, every Muslim convert is expected to act a certain way and think a certain way, where they cannot publicly agree with others over Muslims, no matter if the others are right or wrong, no matter if the Muslims are right or wrong. Don't go to the enemy and side with them and joining the mocking of your Muslim brothers. Don't do that because your name will become mud. People who love you, they hate Apostate Prophet and David Wood more than they love you. Don't, don't do it. Don't do that. To my surprise, Hamza actually kind of implicitly acknowledges in this video that their response to my Kaaba argument was insufficient, not satisfactory. So you said that the response to AP was very, very bad. Okay, now that may have got lost in the moment of the arena where I was just knocking AP about because I just don't like him. I wouldn't really describe it like that. It was just you guys were very angry and were not talking very well and it looks pretty bad. Talking the bloody Bible! Leave the Bible alone! You don't believe in it! And thus I may have been a bit rough-handed with him, which he needed really. But we are presenting a response to that argument in such detail it will ground the argument into dust. I don't really care about who is right and who is wrong. I don't really care about the whole Kaaba argument at all right now. I don't care about debates. What I care about is the attitude, how Hamza describes me and describes people who disagree with Islam or who criticize Islam or who attack and insult and ridicule Islam. Hamza, why is it that people like me are by default described as the enemies of Islam? At a different point, as far as I remember, it was said that I am not serious, I am not honest, I am evil and this and that. But wh why exactly do you come to that conclusion? Why am I evil? Why am I bad? Why am I dishonest? Somebody that you shouldn't associate with and shouldn't talk to. Who says I have bad intentions? Who says I don't have good intentions? Who says I am not doing what I'm doing, even if I'm doing it in the most offensive way for a good purpose, for good intentions, no matter if you see them as good intentions or not? I will be very honest here and ask Hamza a question. Hamza, if you ask me, I will sincerely say, I believe that you may or you do sincerely have good intentions and a good will. 
I think that when you are setting up an arena and you are trying to spread Islam and you are defending your Islamic faith and you are yelling at me and being rude, I am ready to say this and to admit this. I am convinced that when you do that, you do it with a good intention. You think you are doing that for a good purpose. I don't believe for a second that you want to be deliberately dishonest and evil. Nevertheless, I believe that your conclusions are entirely wrong, that your worldview is all twisted, and that the illusions which you found within Islam blind you. Can you say the same thing about me? Can you admit that I may have good intentions or that I do indeed have good intentions? Can you admit that you believe I am doing what I think is right, even if you find it wrong, even if you find it detestable? If I sincerely believe that questioning my former belief, speaking out for people who are voiceless and to thank me every day, critically analyzing a religion which I think has harmed me, harmed many others that I love, harmed my family, and harms many people in the world, is the right thing to do because it will make the world a better place. It will make me happier and it will make others happier. It will make future generations happier. If that is my intention, can you really say that I am intentionally engaging in evil? that I'm not interested in the truth. I think you are interested in the truth. I just think you are blind and uninformed. And that's okay. You can think about me that I'm interested in the truth and that I'm completely misguided and blind. It's fine. These are disagreements. And before you make excuses about who I am and how I have conducted myself and what I have said and done in debates and all that, let me just stop you right there. I know for a fact that you guys kicked Abdullah Samir from... The arena. I know for a fact that he cannot even join your arena. He is blocked from joining your arena as a caller. And Abdullah Samir, compared to me, let's be very honest. I will be very honest here. I have a completely different style from Abdullah Samir. He still believes that we should approach things very peacefully and as reasonable as possible. Try not to offend people. Try to be very balanced. He has a very soft way of speaking. He's not remotely as offensive as I am because I care about what I think is right, and I don't respect all the conventions and the rules that people have. So I can be quite blunt, I'm sorry about that, that's just who I am. But you guys kicked him out, labeled him dishonest, and that simply doesn't seem honest on your part, that seems hypocritical. And you might think that your religious belief and your ideology justifies that, but I think anyone else can see that that is a little bit uncalled for to say the least. Lastly, who are you to judge whether I'm interested in the truth or not? You don't know my past. I haven't talked about certain things, but the people of my past community who are religious knew exactly what kind of a person I was, what kind of a person I am. I was very sincere when I was religious. I would spend my time sitting together with only the most religious people around me. I would sit down with people who are 70 years old, have conversations with them about the world, about religion, about society, belief, life after life. Those people, when they looked at me, saw somebody who is so devout and so willing to learn at a very young age. And they would offer the position of the imam to me. People prayed behind me. A congregation prayed behind me. Not because I'm better than them, not because I'm more knowledgeable than them, but because we knew about each other, that we are sincere, that we are devout. Don't be blinded by your ideology and think you can just judge everyone as dishonest and insincere and whatever it is. As far as we can see, I am the one who is willing to have conversations and discussions with everybody. And you guys are the ones who play tricks, try to avoid honest discussions on the topic, try to get me. Finally, in all honesty, I joined the panel, your panel, with my problem, which was with the Kaaba. Because I sincerely believe that the Kaaba is entirely disconnected from Abrahamic religion, that the historicity of it is disputed and that it is very unlikely that the Islamic narrative is true. I sincerely believe that the Kaaba was a pagan element which Muhammad and the Muslims simply adopted and revised to put it into their own religious narrative. And I'm ready to talk about this. I have presented my arguments to you. I will keep presenting them. And I sincerely believe that Islam has no proper answer to this. I sincerely believe that this problem destroys Islam. I sincerely believe that no matter what answer you guys give so far, it is insufficient and wrong. And I would like to push that, not because I want to prove to you that I am most definitely right and that you are most definitely wrong, but because I want to demonstrate to you why I sincerely think 
that this is a problem. And I want to push the boundaries and see every response that comes from you guys, live or offline, at the expense of possibly being proven wrong and possibly being publicly ridiculed. Because I don't care about my reputation. I don't care about your tribalism. I care about the truth. Do you care about the truth? If you do, then you should immediately stop using extremely tribalistic language and attitudes and judging people's personalities and most inner intentions simply by their allegiances. I hope you get the point. Thank you for listening. And I'm saying the following because I think it is good. Stay away from Islam. Okay. Um, this is what I always say. Because I feel like I found this conversation in the middle and don't have the full details, but before I even get into what I think of you or anything, um, who's apostate? What religion did he belong to? Um, shedding light there would also be interesting to know for the sake of just knowing, you know. Um, in life, I feel like we have to learn from everyone around us. There's something to learn from you watching this. There's something to learn from me reacting to this. There's something to learn from people that debate, your neighbor, your cat, your dog, whatever thing is there, there's always something to learn. Don't, um, if you're going to use religion as a weapon, you're going to miss out on a lot of things because this is why i love my parents you know um i could go to my parents and say but islam allows this but islam is more peaceful than this 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 that and my parents will come my comments oh p funny since you have more knowledge on this please share do you understand so what do you mean about this and then we end up having a conversation about it shout out to my parents for um, always being open to information that I learned through videos and I learned through um, reading something on the internet, whatever it is. So, um, if you're going to say, no, I can't learn from this person, then I don't know. That's why uh, Dr. Who is it? Zaki Naik says, but we do believe in the Bible. We just don't believe a Jesus, what, what. That's another thing. Because they know, even through Christianity, there is something to pick there that is the same with what they practice. And um, I don't know about other religions though. Um, there is always something good in a religion that someone can pick. It can be culture, it can be what, but there is always some good you can learn from someone else. You can learn to give from another religion. You can learn how to meditate from another religion. You can learn how to pray from another religion. So if you're going to be this person that doesn't want to learn, then don't put yourself in an environment where if I share my opinion, you're going to be offended. If you share your opinion, I'm going to be offended and feel like uh, you're not worthy of listening to. Sometimes people share the most um, ridiculous ideas. Even if you have nothing nice to say, just listen. Keep quiet, listen. Don't say anything afterwards, just listen. And when you don't say anything, the argument dies out, the conversation dies out, and you move on to something else, you know. Always be open to learn from people. Otherwise, um, people will always have differing opinions. But then don't shy away from answering a question. Don't feel like it's a challenge. Sometimes, yes, people are challenging you to prove that, yes, your religion is really this, really that. Because it seems like this entire conversation was about the Kaaba and um, it being pagan. I would really, really love to listen to their food debate, conversation they had. I don't know if it was on YouTube, if it was a podcast, if it was what. I'd really, really love to listen to it for the sake of just learning and to see how the other parties involved um, responded. Otherwise, um, always be open. No matter where you go in life, no matter who you meet in life, old people, young people, there's always something to learn. You can actually learn something from a child. Don't look, don't look at them and say, mm -mm. 
this is a young person i'm too wise to be listening to a young person otherwise let me know what you think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video